everybody. Welcome back to E Cubed. Today we have a word, and I like this word. Now, this is not really common in spoken language, but you do see it in the news. And I saw this word, I think, two different times in the news in the past week. So I thought, uh, I need to teach this word. The word is kerfuffle. Kerfuffle. <laughs> it sounds like a funny word. I like it. Now, what does kerfuffle mean? It means a commotion, some chaos, some craziness. So if there are many people running around and it's very loud and there's some sort of problem maybe, we could say, what is the kerfuffle? And when you say the word, you cannot smile. What's the kerfuffle? <laughs> but to me, it sounds like such a funny word. It's a cute word. Let's check out the dialogue. What's all the kerfuffle about? The lady in 407 has an alligator. What? That's crazy. I know, but she says it's her pet. Oh my God, can you imagine that? You live in an apartment, an apartment building, many different apartments, and the lady next door has a pet alligator. Not a pet dog, not a pet cat, not a pet bird, but an alligator. Oh my goodness, that's kind of cool. But no, that seems rather scary and rather dangerous. What happens if she opens her door and the alligator comes out and starts eating all the neighborhood children and cats and dogs? That would be terrible! Yeah, so, so I guess in this situation, the other neighbors have discovered that this woman in 407, that's apartment number 407, she has a pet alligator. So everybody's saying, what are you doing? You can't have an alligator. Everybody's yelling at her. There's lots of commotion. That is what the kerfuffle is about. So, how about in your life, in your neighborhood, at your school, at your company? Has there been a kerfuffle recently? I just love the word. So everybody, I want you to use the word kerfuffle. Kerfuffle. It just sounds lovely. Uh, yeah. Now, once again, in my life, I have never used the word kerfuffle when speaking. Have I written the word kerfuffle? Yeah, maybe two or three times in my life. And I'm 97 years old, so during 97 years, I only wrote it three times. But, in the news, once again, in the past week, 10 days, I saw it twice. So, it's a word I want you to know. That is today's E-cubed expression. You guys have a fantastic day, and remember, if you're new to E-cubed, welcome. But if you're old to E-Cubed, don't forget, we now have E-Cubed Podcast. That's right, just an audio format, and I start all the way back at the beginning. So if you haven't started listening to the podcast, do it today. Get it, tell your friends. It's Of course it's free. It's free, it's an audio, so when you're walking, when you're on the bus, when you're washing dishes, when you're exercising, when you're in the bathroom, when you're doing something, this is a great chance to practice English. And, once again, if you're an old student, you can review the expressions that we've learned. So, you can find the podcast on iTunes, and the name is Daily Easy English Expression. Okay? Search for it. Download it. It's great. And I know 
I don't have a Macintosh. I have a, a PC. I use, you know, something Android phone. Yeah, I know. It's inconvenient. But you can still get the podcast. Go to iTunes and download it. Just install iTunes on your PC. That's what I do. I have a PC and I use iTunes on my PC and it automatically downloads and then you can transfer it to your phone or device and eventually we will have an app and the app will be for the iOS system and the Android system so please wait it costs money so money is not my friend I wish money were my friend okay this pop this this is too long Goodbye. What's all the kerfuffle about? The lady in 407 has an alligator. What? That's crazy. I know, but she says it's her pet. What's all the kerfuffle about? The lady in 407 has an alligator. What? That's crazy. I know, but she says it's her pet. What's all the kerfuffle about? The lady in 407 has an alligator. What? That's crazy. I know, but she says it's her pet.